Good evening. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How are you today? It's... I'm sick. Oh, really, Canary? I'm sorry to hear yes. that. Yes. Yes, teacher. Well, no problem, no problem. Today going, we are going to have an easy class, so don't worry about it. Okay, teacher. Let's see who else is here around. Let me check. Vanessa, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you I'm, today? Um, I'm tired. You're tired? Yes. Already? Right. Because the fin work as you said this yes about six oh you finish your job around six around six. six around six wow and you started working at what time uh, at 8 a.m at 8 a.m yes wow so you have had a long day yes this day but the today uh, today today uh, Schedule from uh, horario? Yes, the schedule. It, it finish at four. Finishes. Finishes. The schedule, the regular schedule. The regular schedule. Oh, listen, listen. Regular. Regular. Yes. The regular schedule. Finish. Finishes. Finish, finishes at four. Okay. Fine, fine. So it was difficult for you. Yes. I'm sorry, guys. Bye bye. Bless us. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Vanessa. Hey, yes. there's Adonai, Adonai. Welcome back. Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? We missed you yesterday. Sorry. Uh, yesterday in the night. Uh, at night. At night. I was a long day, so I returned to my home a uh, very, very night. Oh, really? Pretty yeah, because, because yesterday in my job is the first day then the, all the people come back to the operation in the office. Oh, comes back. When the people comes back. Yes. Sorry. Yesterday. So it's a, a terrible day oh, I for the old people. <laughs> Can imagine. So it was difficult for you. Uh, yes, because all the people is new in, in the new building. Oh my gosh! So it was hectic yesterday. Yes. Uh, when the I don't know, how do you say pandemia? The pandemic. When when the pandemic start, Digicel have two buildings. Okay. And so when in this time only one building for the old people only one building for everybody yeah. wow for everybody so it is a crazy day i can imagine i can imagine well that's the way it is yeah but i, but I come back that's good that's good it's great to have you here thank you Alanai. thank you teacher vicky good evening how are you good evening teacher I'm fine, teacher, because I work from the home. Oh, the home. you're working from home? Yes. Oh, nice. So, yes, how teacher. was your day? Easy day or difficult? Easy day. That's excellent. That's great to mm -hmm. hear. Mm -hmm. That's very good to hear. Yes. So, well, thank you, Vicky, very much. Thank you. And let's see. Mr. Juan Carlos Peña, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine, teacher. Okay, how was your day? Um, mm, so, so, um, regular. A day Re regular. A regular day. A regular day, teacher. Okay, that's good because nothing new, nothing like pretty big to do. Excellent, thank you very much. You're welcome. Sylvia, hello, Sylvia. 
Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, I am. Um, is very, is very tired. You are very tired. Uh, is they today? Cra today crazy. <laughs> okay. Today was crazy. Today was crazy. Okay. Um, but super supervised. Okay. Supervised, uh, company uh, Dictarineira. Okay. Uh, is a uh, is company uh, supervisor uh, what is todo? All. All. Come. Oh. Or or my work. Okay. The supervisor. So you have the supervisor with you today. Yes. Uh, and, that's and, that's stressful. Yes. Um, uh, I can imagine. Of the pen or, or, or money, <laughs> my oh. money. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, anyway. Uh huh. Wait, let go. <laughs> but relax, relax. Hey, there's mm -hmm. Ilda. Hello, Ilda. Thank you, Sylvia. Hi, Ilda. How are you? Hello. I'm good. And you? I'm great here. Thank you. Tell me, how was your day, Ilda? Ah, it's a. It's a a good day. What did you do today? Uh, I was work or work. I worked. I worked. I worked. Um, only that in my house. Obligation. Okay, the a regular day. For example, day. Uh, yeah, regular day, but uh, regular day, but happy. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Hilda. No, thanks okay. to you. Okay, guys, today we are going to work with past things, okay? We are going to work about the things that happened in the past. And we are going to be using the regular verbs, okay? Those are easy. Those are very, very simple, right? So, when we want to express the simple past, well, uh, we use the verbs in past for the affirmative form. So let's ask Adonai, because Adonai was not here yesterday. Tell me, Adonai, what did you do during the weekend? During the weekend? <laughs> I, uh, I work it. Okay. You worked? Yeah, I work. And the whole weekend? Saturday and Sunday? Adonai, Sorry, no. teacher, de, eh, eh, se congeló la imagen, no le escuché lo último. Okay, let's see, let's see. Both days, Saturday and yeah. Sunday? Yes, both days, because eh, this month, my free days is eh, Friday and Thursday. Okay, this month, my free days are? Are. Yes, are. Because you are using the plural. Yeah, Thursday and Friday. Okay, okay. I That's... work uh, the weekends. I work the weekends. Okay, perfect. So, well, so it's difficult for you. Uh, no. What was the schedule on Sunday? Um, my schedule for Sunday is the 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. From 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yes. Wow. A because, because yeah, but it's really, really relaxed because the people don't say anything in bad day in some days. So okay, it's very, very relaxed. Okay, that's nice to know. So it was not like stressful for you. Yeah, I. It's very today good. was today was the bad day. Um, no, it's so so so. From uh, yesterday was yesterday. Hard. Is, yeah, it's very hard day. Today was, was very hard day. Today, mm, normal. Frank, relax, relax. Okay, that's nice to know. Thank you very much, Adonai. Okay. Angelica, good evening. How are you? Good 
Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, today, excellent. Oh. Yesterday, I was sick. Oh, really? You were sick yesterday? Yes. What happened to you? I had a I had I had a headache. A headache. I have a headache. Had, remember, it's the past. Had. Uh huh. I have a headache. Okay. Uh, that's uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I can so My, my eyes. My uh, eyes. Eyes. Yes. Uh -huh. My eyes. Heart. Heart. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Heart. Well, the good thing is that you are here today. Thank you very much, Angelica. Hello, Francisco. Good How are you? Teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Mm, I'm very well, but okay. in the morning, I'm very stressed. Oh, really? Tell me why. Oh, uh, because uh, I I go I go to the San Salvador from Santana. Okay, uh, I went to. Okay, I went to the San Salvador from Santana. Okay. Uh, the traffic jam is very terrible in the morning. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's mostly around uh, Opico, the, the 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 way to Opico. Yes, I, uh, I how was long, very late. How long did it take you? How many hours did it take you from Santana to San Salvador? This day? Today? Three hours. Wow, three yes. hours. This day, yes, because the traffic is very terrible. Uh, other days, maybe one, one hour. Oh, one half hour. One hour and a half. Okay, one hour and a half. Yeah, I can imagine. Three hours driving is like terrible. Yes, I very late on my work. And what about on your way back? How long did it take you? Did you went back to Santa Ana? No, I... I... You are staying in San Salvador right now? No, I, I stay in Santana in, oh. this, in this moment. Okay. Well, that's the way it is. As yes, I was, but, yes, but, in, me. but in this moment, very well. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Excellent. It's great to hear that. Okay, okay, guys. Today we are going to review the simple past, as I told you. And that's why I am asking you about how was your day now? Uh, we are going to talk about regular verbs. Regular verbs in English are very, very simple. Why? Because in order to use the regular verbs in English, the only thing we need to do is to add ed at the end. As simple as that. The only thing to do is to add the particle ed at the end. And let me show you how do we do that. Let me share with you. Uh, let's see, let's see this. Okay. Today we are going to talk about simple past. Simple past tense, but we are going to focus on regular verbs. Okay. Regular verbs. The rules are very, very simple. To form the simple past tense of regular verbs, we just add the only thing we need to do is just to add ed at the end of the verb. That's the general rule. But this is in the affirmative form. Okay, this is the general rule. Okay, just to add 
this article. At the end of the verb for the affirmative form. Okay, what does it mean? Oh, it means this. Like, I watched a movie yesterday. You see? Very simple. I watched a movie yesterday. I washed the dishes last night. Again, just ED. I played. Yes, tell me. I washed the, the dishes. It is not I did the dishes. You can use both. In this case, just for the example, I am using washer. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you. I played soccer uh, last Sunday. Now, something that we have to remember is this that the simple past refers to a finished action. Okay, something that it's finished. It's completed, no more. Okay, so when we talk about the simple past, we are referring to a finished action. Now, guys, we are going to do a small exercise. Any question about this? No questions? Teacher, the, this, um, this... La pronunciación. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, well, what was the other question? La, la pronunciación con IT. Okay, yes. I'm going to work with that. Don't worry, I'm going to get there. Ya vamos a llegar a ese punto, okay? <laughs> was there another question? Have you a Teacher, uh, for for that rule is for all types of verbs. Regular verbs. Regular verbs. For regular is, is different. Yes, regular verbs is different. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, when we talk about the regular verbs, wow, they are plenty because we are talking about verbs. Okay, we have, let's see, let's talk about the most common verbs. And let me see, add, do you know the verb add? Let's do something. I'm going to be writing on the chat some verbs for you to, to see them. Add, you know the verb? Agregar, añadir. Yes. Okay, and let's see what else. Another one that is easy, mm, admit, agree. Those are regular verbs also. Admit, agree, okay? Those are regular verbs. So in this case, those three that I gave you, you just need the simple past. Let's talk about some others. Let's see. Um, Okay, bath. You remember that we were talking yesterday about bath? Bañarse? That's another regular verb. We say watch. Uh, we also have dance. We have study. We have play. Work. Let's see. What? Do you know any other regular verb, guys? ¿Conocemos algo otro? Tell me, help me out. We are going to build a small list right now. Ayúdenme, vamos a crear una walk. lista. What? Walk. Walk, perfect, walk. Walk. Learn. Learn. Excellent, learn. Exercise. Okay, exercise. 
Run. I'm sorry. Run. Run. Run is irregular. Ah, irregular. Okay. Speak. Speak. Irregular. Irregular. Okay. Yes. Uh, what about carry? Do you know carry? Cargar. That's irregular. Let's see another one that it's easy for us. Uh, compare. Play. Communicate. Play. 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 Play is already in the list. Okay. Communicate. Ask. Ask. Perfect. Cry. Cry. Very good. Cry. Clean. Clean. Okay, so we have, right now we have, wow, a lot. Talk. Perfect. Close. What? Close. 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 Oh, close. Close. Yes. Close. Perfect. Open. Open. Uh, let's see. Fail. Answer. Okay, let's see. Open. Ans answer. Uh, answer. 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 <laughs> answer. So you can see we have add. Believe. Believe. Perfect. Teacher. Yes. How can I differentiate a regular verb or irregular verbs? Ooh. You have to memorize the irregular. That's the okay. only way. But the an advice I can give you is this, Carlos. If you want to learn the verbs, uh, some people will tell you, oh, memorize five verbs a day. It's not just the fact that you memorize the verbs because you can find in internet, you can find a big list of irregular verbs, but it's not just to memorize the verbs. Uh, what you do is this, you get like two, three verbs there for a day and try to use them. Perhaps in your mind. Lo que debemos de hacer es los verbos regulares e irregulares. La manera más fácil es aprenderse los irregulares. Así usted sabe que automáticamente los demás son regulares. Okay? But the best way to memorize them is not to get the list and try to get like 10 or 20 a day. La mejor manera no es tomar una lista y tratar de aprenderse 10 o 20 al día. Choose three, four, five tops. Five is the maximum. Cinco como máximo. But I'll, all along the day, perhaps get them in a little piece of paper for you not to forget. Try to create sentences. La mejor manera es tratar a lo largo del día de ir creando oraciones. Okay? Try to use them, put them into practice. That's why I would advise you to get verbs that are like easy for you to use. Verbs that you know you use every day. Verbos que se refieren a cosas que usted hace a diario. And you don't need to say the sentences out loud. You can do the sentences in your mind. That's even better. El crear esas oraciones no necesita decirlas en voz alta. Simplemente pensarlas. Lo cual ayuda aún más. Porque usted va a estar pensando en inglés. But that's an everyday exercise. Because when it comes to verbs, the best way is to learn them by applying them. La mejor manera es aprendérselos aplicándolos, using them. Okay? So, in this case, we are talking about some verbs, but lists, wow, when we talk about lists of verbs, there are many. Many, they are like plenty, but try to start with the ones that you use the most, because I mean, there are verbs like, uh, okay, I got one verb for you here. Milk. Can you see in the chat the word milk? What is it? It's a verb. Yes. Yes, it mm. is a verb. But you use it just, you know it just. Leche. Like. Yes. But if you get under a cow, if you get under a cow, 
and you start doing this, you are milking the cow. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. But that's not a verb that we use every day. So let's start for the ones that we use regularly. Okay? Comencemos con los que usted se dé cuenta a lo largo del día que usa a diario. That's I can I can say I'm milking the cow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, tell me, uh, Roxana, have you ever milked a cow? ¿Alguna vez? No, I never. Okay, you see. <laughs> Milk a cow. But that's not something that comes like in a regular conversation, in an everyday conversation. No es un verbo que usted va a usar en una conversación diaria. Okay? So, don't, that's why I tell you, don't get a list and start memorizing them like in order. No agarre una lista y trate de aprendérselo en orden. It doesn't work like that. What you have to do is start picking the ones that you know you are going to be using every day. Like, uh, like Sylvia. Let's see, Sylvia, I'm sorry, you are the example. Uh, imagine that Sylvia says, oh, today I'm going to see my boyfriend. Sylvia dice que va a ver al novio. And she's thinking that she saw her boyfriend yesterday. Y está pensando que lo vio ayer. And she says, oh, I remember that I kissed him Goodbye. That's a verb. A regular verb. Ella le dio un beso de despedida. You see? Kissed him goodbye. Simple. Douglas says, oh, I kiss my wife in the morning today after, before I leave for work. Le dio un beso a mi esposa antes de ir a trabajar. That's a regular verb and we use it. Simple, no? Or perhaps, uh, let's see. Adonai says, mm, let's see. I listen to some co I listen some complaints from my co-workers. Escuché algunas quejas de mis compañeros. That's something that applies for him in his work. Okay? So try to get the verbs that you are sure you are going to be using. And then when you have a good command of them, you can start like learning the rest. Cuando ya conocemos y los ya los usamos, podemos empezar a aprender los demás. But don't get a big list and start le learning them by in order. It won't work. No le va a funcionar. That's why in the class we are going to focus no on the learning the list of verbs. No en aprendernos una lista de verbos. But we are going to focus on how to structure the sentences. How to structure the ideas. Vamos a enfocarnos en cómo estructurar las ideas. Okay. Any question up to here? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No teacher, it's clear. No teacher. Okay. Carlos. Eh. No teacher, it's okay. Okay, now? Perfect. It's okay, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Now, we have a list of verbs. You can see we have add, admit, agree, bath, watch, dance, study, play, work, walk, learn, exercise, carry, communicate. Ask, cry, clean, talk, close, open, fry, answer, believe, milk, kiss. Wow, milk is not one that we use. Oh, I know a verb that we use, an action that some of you do every day, and perhaps brush. Brush, <coughs> brush is one. Of them. But what about water? Drink. No, water. Uh, water is a verb. Water. Yes. Water. Tell me, yes. Tell me, Roxana, do you have a garden? Yes, I have a garden. Do you water your plants every day? Yes, I water the plants. <laughs> oh, okay. You see? It's a verb to water the plants. Very simple, no? Yes. You know, the other day I had a problem because my dog was barking. He barked. That's a verb, and it's a regular verb, okay? Bark, the sound that a dog makes. Do you know the sound that makes a cat? What is the verb? ¿Cómo se llama el verbo? El sonido que hacen los gatos. In Spanish? Maullido. Maullar. Okay. <laughs> Maullar. That's a verb in English. Look at the chat. Mew. 
Miau. Miau is the verb. Yes, it is. Miau el Pokémon. <laughs> Miau is the verb. Believe it. That's the verb. For example, in a sentence. Okay. You know, last night I couldn't sleep. A cat was meowing all night long. Okay? Okay. I am being very specific because I could have said, oh, I, the cat was making a lot of noise. El gato estaba haciendo mucho ruido. Or I can say specifically, the cat was meowing all night long. That's a verb. Okay, but we also uh, are interested, I know, in the pronunciation you told me, right? And we are going to explain a little bit about that. What's the pronunciation? How to pronounce, okay? But let me see, let me see, let me see. How can I, uh, 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 how can I explain it on a best way? ¿Cuál es la mejor manera de explicárselo? Because we need to look for something simple. Uh, okay. If a verb ends in a letter D or in a letter T, we pronounce it like ID. Let me show you. Let me show you that. Okay. Okay, if a verb, oh, I'm sorry. If a verb ends in a pronunciation of a, do you remember what letters I told you? Uh, in a letter D or T. Okay, of a D or T, the ED is pronounced as this. Look. Can you see it? Okay, that's the first rule, the very first rule. If the verb, the pronunciation of the verb ends, the sound like D or T, the ED at the end is pronounced as this. Look. Okay, let's see. Let's see of the verbs we got. Admit. Checking the list we have. We have the verb admit. Right? So, in this case, admit, when we, when we write it, and what we are going to do, let me see, let's do it here better. Sorry, guys. We have the verb admit. So we are going to add the ED. So in this case, these two letters, they are pronounced as admit, admit. Listen, admit. That's the pronunciation. Admit. That is the first rule. Esa es la primera regla. 
if the verb ends, the, si el verbo termina en D o en T, lo pronunciamos como que fuera una ID en español, ¿ok? Sí. Por eso, admit, admitted. Uh, for example, teacher, want, want yo lo había escuchado como con I. Which one? Want to. Wa want to. Uh -huh. Yes, want, want to. Sí. You want mean to. want to? Or perhaps, uh, oh, the first verb we have in the list. Added. Okay. Want to. Added. That's the pronunciation. That is the first, the very first rule. Now, the second rule, okay, the second rule says that if the verb ends in R, N, I, or L, okay? Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, if the pronunciation of the verb ends in R, N, I, O, L, this is the second rule, R, N, I, O, L. In this case, what is the pronunciation? The pronunciation is simple. Why? Because the pronunciation of the ED in this simple case is as a D. Okay. Simple. Just like this. This is the rule. Mm -hmm. Clean. Look, clean. We have the verb clean. Ends in D. Mm -hmm. In N. So, in the past, clean up. Just that, clean up, clean up. We just pronounce the D at the end, clean up. Okay? Mm. Let's see. Another one we could say, because we are talking that if the verb ends in R, N, or I, like discover the verbs that the verbs ending in y los verbos que terminan en y the sound usually is like an i el sonido normalmente es como i latina like notify specify destroy okay so in those cases is uh, notified destroyed uh, we have discover. Discover ends in R. So we have discovered. Vamos entendiendo hasta acá. Tell me any question, please ask me. Cualquier duda, pregunte. Okay? This class, don't worry. Because uh, today and tomorrow. We are going to work just with simple past, so we have the time. Tenemos el tiempo. Ahora y mañana vamos, well, actually, yes, today and tomorrow we are going to work just with simple past. That's why I'm going slow. Por eso voy lento. Any question up to here? Okay, are you taking notes? Remember, yes, I'm taking yes. notes because mm -hmm. it's some much rules. Yes. yes, it's trying many. to learn many rules. Don't try to learn uh, all the rules. Um, it's more complicated. Okay, what I what I would advise you is this. Lo que yo les aconsejaría es esto. Si va tomando nota, si quiere repasar en su tiempo libre, haga un listadito de verbos y vaya aplicándolo según la regla. Mm -hmm. En de acuerdo a la regla. Okay, that will help. Okay. You. In order okay. for you to, to improve the pronunciation. 
para que mejoremos la pronunciación. Because I'm just writing one for you. Yo solo le voy poniendo uno. But you can make your list longer. Perhaps leave a space. Deje un espacio más grande. So you can make your own list. In that okay. way, you can identify the verbs according to the pronunciation. That's another way where you call, how you could learn them. Esa es otra manera como los podrían aprender, memorize them, okay? okay. Teacher. Yes, Hilda. Uh, uh, please, uh, 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 search another, another, the, again, the, the instruction. Yes. Don't worry, don't worry. We have not finished with the rules. There's still one more. Okay. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, when we have a verb that ends in K, a verb that ends in E, a double S, okay, I'm going to first dictate to you so you can learn that. If a verb, I am saying to you, if a verb ends in K, the first letter, if a verb ends in, let me see what else, in the letter E, P, Let me see what other letter is. Uh, K, E, P. Oh, in V. V, S, H, double S. In those cases, the pronunciation is as a T. Okay. Did you listen to me? Do you want me to show you the rule, the written rule? Me escucharon, quieren que se las muestre escrita? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Teacher, yes, teacher. Look, if a verb ends in K, E, P, B, S, H, double S, we, oops, I'm sorry, we pronounce the ED as T. La ED se va a pronunciar como T. Okay? So, remember, we have worked, That's one verb from this list. Why? Because the letter you, we have here, the K. And the rule says, oh, K. So in this case, the K is, the ED is pronounced as T, worked, watched. Like in wash the clothes, okay? A keep. That's the verb guardar. We have ed kept. Do we have it? Puedo salir ya de esta compartida? Or you are still writing? Todavía estamos copiando. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. Take your time. Remember, the important part is for you not just to get the rule because to get the rule is like uh, stressful. Get a list. Make your own list of verbs but according to the rule. That way you are going to improve your pronunciation. For example, love teacher. Which one? Look. Uh, love. This one. Uh, love, amor. Oh, loved. Yes, loved. 
the pronunciation loved 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 okay okay guys so uh, i know this is kind of it's interesting but it can be a little bit stressful so let's relax a little bit of that Vamos a relajarnos un poquito de esto. Yo sé que esto es interesante, pero quieras o no, como son reglas, se vuelve un poquito estresante. My advice for you is this. Write the rule. Escriba la regla in a piece of paper. Escriba la regla. Look for verbs that ends in those letters. Busque por verbos que terminen en esa regla. Regular verbs. Verbos regulares. ¿Ok? Regular verbs. Uh, you can look, there are lists on... Internet, you can find a lot of lists. Usted pueden encontrar listas for you to copy down verbs. Uh, regular and irregular. So in this case, we are focused just on regular verbs. Get the list, write the rule, and write verbs according to that ending and practice the pronunciation. Okay? Make your own list, but not just the verbs in past. Of verbs in past that Divided on the pronunciation. Divídalos de acuerdo a la pronunciación. As we were doing here, como estábamos haciendo en el ejemplo. That way it's going to be easier for you to remember the pronunciation. Like there are common verbs, like, oh, Adonai, tomorrow he won't tell me, oh, I worked. Yes, él no me va a decir ahora, mañana, I work yesterday. Él me va a decir, I worked. Okay? The pronunciation of the ED as a T because the verb ends in K como el verbo termina en K me lo va a pronunciar como T I worked ok yes uh, let's see Hilda will tell me oh you know what I watched the car I watched the car la ve el carro ok Vanessa will tell me, oh, you know what, teacher? I clean, I clean the house. I clean the house. Or perhaps uh, Sylvia will tell me, I cooked for my family. So it's very important that we try first to learn the verbs that we use every day. That's the most important aspect. El, Punto más importante acá es que aprendamos los verbos que usamos a diario. ¿Ok? Today the class is most, has been mostly focused on the rules. Tomorrow we are going to work with the structure. Mañana vamos a trabajar con la estructura. And it's very important for you to be in the class tomorrow. We are not finished yet. No se preocupen que no hemos terminado. But it's very important for us to be tomorrow because we are going to learn about the auxiliaries. Mañana vamos a trabajar con los auxiliares. And the structuring of sentences y la estructura, the order of the words, ¿ok? So, I'm going to have prepared tomorrow the presentation, so we are going to go faster. Mañana le voy a tener mejor la presentación ya hecha, so we can just read, as, para que solamente leamos. It's going to be easier, ¿ok? So, let's see, but let's relax a little bit. Drop the pencil, soltemos el lápiz un momento. Ok, Vanessa, tell me. What did you do today? What did you do today? Okay, um, so I, I work. Uh, ah, Vanessa. The verb uh -huh. ends in K. El verbo termina <laughs> I work. Perfect. I work. Today. Excellent. Thank you very much, Vanessa. Juan Carlos. Hello, Juan Carlos. Hello, teacher. Tell me, what did you do today at noon? ¿Qué hizo hoy al mediodía? I... I... I ate. I ate. I ate my lunch. Okay. And who cooked for you? Um... ¿Quién cocinó? My wife. Okay, say, my wife she, cooked. She, 
She she cooks. Ah, uh -uh. remember, she cooked. She cooked. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Mr. Carlos Cruz. Hello. Hello, mister. Tell me, what did you do yesterday? You were not in class. What were you doing? I was sick. Okay. And what did you take for your illness? ¿Qué tomo para mi enfermedad? Ibuprofen. Okay. Ibuprofen. I don't know how do you say ibuprofen. I drank or I took. I drank. Or I took. I drank. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Okay. And, and many pills. Oh, gosh. And what time did you go to sleep last night? Um, I seen uh, two hours or three hours. You slept just three hours? Because I have it uh, a baggage. Oh, you have a baggage. That's uncomfortable. That's pretty uncomfortable. Eso es muy incómodo. Yes, and I can I can sleep. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yes, no pude. I couldn't. Look in the chat. I couldn't. Okay. I couldn't. couldn't. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. I understand. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, before I forget, homework for tomorrow, guys. Antes que se me olvide. Tarea. Okay. Your homework is going to be very simple. All along the day, you, you, you will have to come to the class prepared with five things that you did during the day using verbs in past. Five, five, okay. Five. Five. Uh, okay, just five. Cinco cosas que usted haya hecho durante el día. So tomorrow you are going to tell me, oh, eh, I did, or I went, or I played, or I watched, okay? Using the verbs okay. in past. That's your homework for tomorrow. I need everybody to bring those sentences because those sentences, <clears throat> we are going to use them in the, for the negative and interrogative also. También la vamos a usar para la negativa y el interrogativo. Okay, remember that tomorrow we are working on structuring. <coughs> Mañana okay. trabajamos en estructura. And the affirmative is very simple. The structure for the affirmative sentence is quite, quite simple. Okay. Uh, let's see. For the affirmative sentence, what we do is just the structuring is this. You have just the subject plus the verb. In past, plus I'm sorry, plus the complement. As simple as this. Look, I dance at a party. So how do I have it here? Very simple. I have I the subject. Dance of the verb in past at the party, the complement. So this is what you're going to bring. Just five sentences talking about the things that you do during the day. Any question about the homework? Alguna pregunta acerca de la tarea? No, teacher. No questions? No. No question. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Remember, it's very important that you bring that activity because uh, we are going to use them. And don't worry. I know that you are busy. Yo sé que están ocupados during the day. Perhaps at lunch, you just need to make five. You just think about, okay, what did I do today in the morning? Que hice hoy en la mañana? Think about the things that you do, that you did. Okay, like uh, perhaps Roxana, before going to work, she said, oh, I washed my hair. 
one action. Simple. Okay. Uh, Sylvia says, oh, I cooked for my kids. Simple. I mean, we are talking about regular actions. Okay. Marina says, oh, I have to take out the garbage. Very simple sentences. Okay. That's what you have as a homework. I know that this class, today's class, has been felt like heavy. Yo sé que esta clase se ha sentido pesada. I understand it. But it's because we are working with rules, and rules tend to be like complex. But don't worry. This, tomorrow you are going to see the results of today's effort. El día de mañana vamos a ver el resultado del esfuerzo de este día. Okay? And remember, you don't need to, to be carrying a big notebook with the rules. Write them in a piece of paper, in a small piece of paper that you can put in your pocket. Escríbalas en un pequeño pedacito de papel que pueda cargar en su bolsa. Okay? Simple. Let's make it simple because I know that you have, all of you, I mean, you have responsibilities. And you need to work and you need to do many things. And like Vanessa, she had a long day yesterday. Perhaps tomorrow she's going to have a long day. Or perhaps uh, Carlos is sick. But... Just five sentences, but please bring them. It's going to make tomorrow's class very easy. So up to here, up to this moment, related to the rules. Any question? Hasta este momento, relacionado con las reglas. ¿Alguna pregunta? Los que terminan en Y. The pronunciation? Yes. Okay, let's check the rule again. Don't worry, we can share it again so you can watch it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, we don't have it here. No la pusimos acá. Oh, easy. Remember that the ones that ends in Y, los que terminan en Y, the sound is like this. El sonido es como esto. Listen, play, play, you see, look at the word, play, so what we do is add ed, and the pronunciation just as ed, play, okay? Yes, thank you. Excellent, excellent, very good question, because I hadn't written the, the letter. Yo no les había escrito la letra, because eh, some rules in English, that's the tricky part. Algunas reglas del inglés es lo complicadito. They don't always refer to how you write it. They refer to how the words sound. A veces se refieren a cómo la palabra suena. Teacher, yes? y, y el que termina en W, w is, es, W, S. Double S. Por ejemplo. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, you want an example of a verb that ends in double S? Kiss. Mm, kiss. Kiss is one. Or let me see another one that could be... Uh, that's complex. Complex, complex for me to remember right now out of the out of the hat. Es difícil sacarme nada así del sombrero. Uh, but kiss is one. Bless. Dress. Thank you, Mr. Let. Dress. Thanks very much. Let's see. We have it here. Okay. Uh, we have look, Sylvia. Kiss. That's one. The pronunciation is like. And as Carlos said, dress, vestirse, dressed, kissed. Okay. Okay, guys. Time's up. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. I'm sorry if the class was kind of heavy. Me disculpan si la clase se sintió pesada, but it's rules and it's very oh, important teacher, that we you know for your help thank you teacher and, and you, teacher. please please 
If another question occurs to you, do something. Write them down. Si hay otra pregunta se le ocurre sobre este tema a lo largo del día o más tarde, anótela. Bring it for tomorrow or send it to me so I can bring the explanation for the whole class or I can get you the explanation on the phone. Okay? Great. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Thanks. Bye, everybody.